Welcome everybody to the challenge disinval. Uh, in this challenge we'll be writing a function called disinval that takes in a string and returns a new string with all the vowels removed. So over here we have our function definition between lines 1 and 4. We're going to jump into this with some pseudocode. Our first objective is to create an object that will include all vowels to, to be checked against. After that, we're definitely going to want to uh, create an, an empty string. An empty string uh, that will act as our uh, result value. We'll be concatenating onto that. Uh, and now it's time for our logic. We're going to want to loop through uh, the input of string and convert the letter to lowercase immediately uh, in order to catch the uppercase uh, inputs such as what we see here in capitalized banana on line 15 and then we are going to want to check if the letter is inside of the object, the vowels object and if not we want to concatenate that letter onto result. Finally, we're going to want to uh, return result. So we'll go back up here and we'll create this object. Call it let vowels. And give it the keys. We'll be checking against whether or not it's uh, present. So undefined or null will be would be the things that we want to return out of uh, vowels if the key is not present. So because of that, we don't actually need to. Uh, we don't really care exactly what value uh, we store uh, with each key. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just go with a. Uh, we'll just go with true. So I. Oh, and U, so A, E, I, O, U will be our vowels. We'll create our result string, set it equal to empty to begin with. And now we'll have our loop. So here we'll uh, tackle this loop with a, we'll use a for loop to tackle, to tackle, to tackle this. We'll loop until, as i increments up, uh, going by one every single time, but we'll loop uh, through the end of the string's length. And we'll grab this letter value and call it string at the index i after it has been uh, lowercased. Here we'll do our boolean check, or our, our logic check, our if check, and say if if vowels at the letter does not exist, we'll accomplish this with a bang. If this is not present, then we will want to add on to result. We'll want to concatenate onto result. So that would be result plus equals string at index i. The reason we want to do string at index i here is because we don't actually want to concatenate on a letter, which would be the lowercase version. We want to concatenate on the uh, the original index of string there. And at the end of all this, we'll just return it. We will return result. All right, let's see how we did. And it looks like we passed all of the checks. And we can unconsole these to see our output. All right, thanks everybody, keep going.